हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एवोल्यूशनरी बायोलॉजी क्लास एंड वी आर इन यूनिट थ्री विच इज सोर्सेस ऑफ वेरिएशन एंड द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज आइसोलेटिंग मैकेनिज्म सो वट इज आइसोलेटिंग मैकेनिज्म सो द फैक्टर्स दैट प्रिवेंट जीन एक्सचेंज एमोंग पॉपुलेशन आर कॉल्ड आइसोलेटिंग मैकेनिज्म सो डोबेंस की इंट्रोड्यूस द टर्म आइसोलेटिंग मैकेनिज्म टू डिफाइन एनी एजेंट्स दैट हिंडर्स इंटरब्रीडिंग ऑफ ग्रुप ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स and mayer also restricted this term to sympatric populations and defined it as biological properties of individuals which prevent interbreeding of populations that are actually or potentially sympatric so there are different types of isolating mechanism and two important groups are pre zygotic isolating mechanism and post zygotic isolating mechanism and under pre zygotic isolating mechanism there are four different mechanisms one is habitat or ecological isolation seasonal or temporal isolation ethological or behavioral isolation and mechanical isolation and under post zygotic isolating mechanisms there are gametic mortality zygote mortality and hybrid inviability hybrid sterility and hybrid breakdown so let's start with pre zygotic isolating mechanism isolating mechanisms which operate before fertilization that is known as pre zygotic before the formation of the zygote so pre zygotic isolating mechanisms leads to reproductive isolation by preventing the formation of a hybrid zygote so the hybrid zygote itself is not formed here so number 1 under pre zygotic isolating mechanism is habitat or ecological isolation here species occupy different habitats so potential mates do not meet each other because they flourish in different habitats so example number 1 is two species of garter snakes in the genus thamnophis occurs in the same geographical areas but one lives in water while the other is primarily terrestrial or it lives in land so the two does not come together and therefore the mating does not happen and the zygote is not at all formed another is five species of fly catchers of north america so there are five different species of fly catchers they look almost all the same but because of their habitat they are not able to meet together and mate and produce offspring so number 1 is least fly catcher or empidonex minimus it is seen in open woods farms and orchards whereas acadian fly catcher is or empidonex varicens it is found in deciduous forest particularly in beech trees and swampy woods and third is elder fly catcher which is empidonex alnorum it is only seen around with thickets of elder trees and the fourth one is yellow bellied fly catcher empidonex flaviventris and it nests only in the conifer woods and the fifth one is the willow fly catcher empidonex trilli and it is seen in only bushy pastures and willow thickets so this five different species have been formed due to the habitat isolation and second is the seasonal or temporal isolation so species breed at different times so differences in breeding season prevent meeting of potential individuals of different species example wood frog and leopard frog so wood frog rana silvatica it usually mates in late march or early april when the water temperature is about 7.2 degree centigrade or 45 degree fahrenheit whereas the leopard frog the rana pipens it usually mates in mid april when the water temperature is around 12.8 degree centigrade or 55 degree fahrenheit third one is the ethological or behavioral isolation so species engage in distinct courtship and mating rituals so differences in courtship behavior prevent mating between individuals of different species so the very good example is among three different birds that is shifts of wood warbler and the willow warbler so shifts of wood warbler and willow warbler are three different species which looks almost exactly the same but they do not interbreed due to the different in the mating songs and here we can see the three different birds which looks almost the same but because of their singing pattern they do not interbreed and the fourth one under pre zygotic isolating mechanism is the mechanical isolation so interbreeding is prevented by structural or molecular blockage of the formation of the zygote so mechanisms include the inability of the sperm to bind to the eggs in animals or the female reproductive organ of a plant preventing the wrong pollinated from landing 
and body parts of species may not physically match with those of other species that could otherwise be mates or pollinators so example is the black sage and the white sage plants so these are two different plants one is the black sage and the other is the white sage and they grow in the same areas but hybrids are rarely formed because flowers of these two species have become specialized for distinct pollinators so black sage flowers are pollinated by small bees whereas white sage flowers are pollinated by large bees and hence the mechanical isolation now let us move to the post zygotic isolating mechanism so isolating mechanism which operate after fertilization in pre zygotic the zygote was not at all formed the, there was no fertilization but here the isolating mechanism occurs after the fertilization so post zygotic isolating mechanisms are those in which hybrid zygotes fail develop abnormally or cannot self reproduce and establish a viable populations in nature so under post zygotic isolating mechanism first one is the gametic motility in this mechanism interspecific cross destroys either sperm of the egg or sperm encounter antigenic reaction in genital tract of female and will be immobilized and killed before it has the chance to reach the egg example is the insemination reaction in drosophila second is the zygotic motility and hybrid inviability so development of the zygote proceeds normally but the hybrid does not survive sometimes the zygote either doesn't develop or develop into an organism with very reduced viability hybrid sterility here the hybrid is formed the young one is formed but it is sterile so hybrid sterility is common if two parent species have different chromosome number for example mule so in mule the hybrid spring of a donkey and a mare is sterile and is unable to produce viable offspring but the hybrid itself is a healthy offspring another is the hybrid breakdown even though viable and fertile hybrids between two species are obtained some barriers still exist in hybrids of second generations or from backcross of f1 hybrid to parental species are inviable example is the drosophila pseudoscura and drosophila persimilis here the two species of drosophila drosophila pseudoscura and drosophila persimilis and they can mate one another and in the f1 generation they can form either fertile offspring or a sterile offspring okay and f1 generation is healthy and in this way when more and more hybrids gets formed it becomes more and more weaker and weaker and finally in many after many generation they become inviable so isolating mechanism always have a genetic basis so for a vast majority of animals it is still not known which particular mechanism prevent closely related species from interbreeding uh, and another thing to remember is the coaxen and coaxen tells us that if one isolating mechanism fails another must overcome and the isolating mechanism always occurs in nature and with this we come to the end of this class thank you for listening and please like share and subscribe to the channel for getting notified for the for upcoming classes thank you